compassion, the ability to feel with the other, in the way we've been thinking about this evening, is the, not only the test of any true religiosity, it is also what will bring us into the presence of what Jews, Christians, and Muslims call God or the divine. Uh, it is compassion, says the Buddha, which uh, brings you to nirvana. Why? Because in compassion, when we feel with the other, we dethrone ourselves from the center of our world and we put another person there. Um, and uh, once we get rid of ego, then we're ready to see the divine. And in particular, every single one of the major world traditions has highlighted and has said at the, put at the core of their tradition what's become known as the golden rule first propounded by Confucius five centuries before Christ. Do not do to others what you would not like them to do to you. That, he said, was the central thread which ran through all his teaching and that his disciples should put into practice all day and every day. And it was uh, the golden rule would bring them to the transcendent value that he called ren, human-heartedness, which was a transcendent experience in itself. Um, and this is absolutely crucial to the monotheisms too. Uh, there's a famous story about the great Rabbi Hillel, the older contemporary of Jesus. A pagan came to him and offered to convert to Judaism if the rabbi could recite the whole of Jewish teaching while he stood on one leg. <laughs> Hillel stood on one leg and said, that which is hateful to you, do not do to your neighbor. That is the Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and study it. <laughs> 